Hello, hello, hello everyone. How are you? Hope you're having a fantastic, fantastic day and may peace be upon you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching this video. It is today the live training. It is the live training for triple your sales offer, um, triple your offer price and make sales. Triple your offer price and make sale. Isn't that exciting? Who's excited for this training? Click on the hearts and the likes button. Click on the hearts and the likes button. Hello, Liv. How are you? Hope you're awesome. It's great to see you. Hey, Remya. Hey, Liv. Hello, 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 Stephen. I'm going to bring you up. You made it first. That's right, Remya. Stephen, I'm going to bring you up. How are you, Stephen? Hey, I'm going to bring Stephen up, okay? How is everybody doing? Are you guys having a great day? Comment below where you're catching me from. So just comment below. Hello. Hello. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm doing really good. Really good. Really excited uh, to be interviewed by, by you. <laughs> it's awesome. I see that you got one. That I want? So that you, you're back on your white wall. You're doing the light oh, yeah, on your yeah. white wall. <laughs> yeah, it's that's, just more comfortable to be on, a, on an uh, interview setting, uh, sitting down yeah. here. And, uh, yeah. That's basically Stephen's um, favorite place, the white wall there. <laughs> it was, it was. <laughs> it was, huh? Everybody say <laughs> hi to Stephen. Comment below and say hi to Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Thank you for joining me today. I'm really really excited to be doing this interview with you thank you so much for doing it steven thank you for inviting me okay yeah, so we've got quite a few people in there so welcome everybody say hi steven in the comment box below if hello everybody live type in one and if you're catching on a replay type in two if this is your first time catching up with me and steven type in three so that we can reach out and say hello we're gonna say hello to them right steven absolutely Absolutely. Okay, Stephen. So let's kick it off and get started. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about you and about mm -hmm. your work. Sure. Uh, well, everybody knows uh, my name is Stephen at this point. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I have. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So I help people uh, lose weight permanently uh, without using fat diets and exercise, and uh, I've been doing that for about since September last year. I don't know how long that was. That is probably like 10 months now. Um, mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So I've been uh, with that. I love what I do. Um, I usually work with people um, that are highly frustrated that I've uh, tried everything, mm. um, you know, from like different diets and uh, exercise mm -hmm. and a bunch of other stuff. And, uh, you know, are just like stuck in really long plateaus and the excess weight has been... Yeah. Um, essentially compromising their health at this point. Mm. So the people are mm -hmm. like in a lot of pain and, and frustration and desperation. So, uh, you know, I, I offer them uh, a permanent solution to that problem so that they can not just transform their body, but also their health and mm -hmm. their life. So then they can do a bunch of stuff that they didn't, uh, that we're not able to do before, essentially, uh, which is yeah, exactly. really, really cool for me. Yeah. Yes, it's, so, it's yeah, absolutely that's what incredible in what you do. So you help people lose, like you, one of your clients lost like 10 pounds or something within a few days, right? And he's been trying to shed off that weight yeah. for, for, for some time now. And he lost like 10 pounds. Yeah. And then another one lost like in absolutely. total like 20 pounds after, what was it, six weeks or yeah. something like that? Uh, uh, yeah, I've, I've had clients that have lost uh, 12, a little bit under a month. Mm -hmm like about 28 mm. days. Um, I've mm. had clients that have lost 12 pounds in their first week work with me in the program. Yeah. So really cool. I mean, these are, are these are people that uh, have mm. spent probably, you know, some of them even years of their life trying to lose weight and have not even been able to mm -hmm. lose a single pound. So for one person like that who come in and, you know, be able to drop like 10, 12 pounds in just the first seven days mm -hmm. of working. Uh, with me it's just yeah. like really awesome for them they're like wow yeah exactly. this is real it's like boom <laughs> you know? kind of like it's like mind-blowing and you can tell one of the reasons why Stephen was able to be 
one, he's really passionate about what he does. And two, he really knows his stuff. And um, number three, um, like us, he's gone slip my mind, but basically he has a proven system of doing it. So you're not just fluffing around, right? You're not just fluffing mm -hmm. around. Absolutely. And like, oh, yeah. This and this and that. It's yeah, not like scientific. testing so, here and there, yeah. Exactly. You've got a solid program. So if you want to make sales and increase your sales, trip, double, triple your sales, you've got to know what you're doing. That's one of the key mm -hmm. things, right, Stephen? You've got to Absolutely. be able to show people the results and not just being fluffy mm -hmm. about it. And Stephen really yeah. cares about people because, like, I remember that when, we're, when, when people are not healthy, they're not happy. They're restricted in terms of mm -hmm. what they do. And in that way, Stephen is yes. able to offer value, right? The possibility of what's possible mm -hmm. in their life when they start to lose weight. So you guys probably want to take all these things down or be able to offer the possibility, the vision of what's possible in their life. You've got to be really clear on what you're offering. Because Stephen, are you offering anything fluffy? No, right? Nope. <laughs> nope. No. Everything I offer no, is, you know, it's proven. I've done it in myself and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I also helped others with the same method. So, yeah, there's definitely like no oh. testing, no like, you know, I'm sort of like using you as a guinea pig. Like, uh, yeah, what I what I show people, what I teach them in the program is, is something that works. It's been proven by me mm -hmm. and by others, too. Yeah, exactly. It's a proven system. It has mm -hmm. high value, like health. You can't buy health anywhere, even if, you know, if you have a million dollars that could make your life better, you would absolutely spend it because if you're lying in bed, mm -hmm. bedridden, there's not much anybody can do about yeah. it. So, Stephen, um, I just wanted to share a little bit about what was your business like before? Because before we started talking and working together, mm -hmm. what was your business like before? Uh, it was dead. <laughs> it was... Uh... <laughs> It was, um, um, it was, it was, it was very slow. Um, mm. like I said, when I started back in September last year, um, I barely had an insight. I didn't sign anybody else until December. And so in December, I was lucky enough to sign two people, two new clients. And, but the catch was that I signed two mm -hmm. people, but that was at the undervaluing program and, and the transformation that I offer for it to get clients that lowering the prices. And those two clients Let me know if you can hear me or not. Yeah, you kind of like. Sorry. There you go. There you go. You're back. Yeah. Wait. Just give me a second. I still like. You're still like. Oh, there you go. All yeah, right. There I am. So, yeah. So you had like started in September. Hey, Stephanie, you started in September. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're starting to cut up again. Yeah. Cut off like frozen a little bit there. Hi, Ooh. Stephanie. Hi, there you go. <laughs> Say hi to Stephen, everybody, if you haven't. If you haven't said hi to Stephen, say hi to Stephen. So let's backtrack a little bit. You started in September. You've got a client. And then mm -hmm. you've got nothing, nothing, nothing up till Christmas time. Yeah. Uh, around about December. Mm -hmm. You've got clients. Yeah. Then. But it was killing your soul because, it, like you said, it was in desperation kind of thing. You'd be mm -hmm. like, oh, I'll just send it for this small amount and just just give it to me just give it to me kind of like what do you 
call it? Like, is it desperation or what was it then, uh, Stephen? I, I would say desperation. Yeah, I just, mm. uh, I mean, I, I just wanted her clients. Uh, mm. And I think that lowering the price seemed to mm. be the easiest way of lowering the bar for them. You know, sort right. of like once you take away all that risk, then people are like, oh, because like one thing I had noticed is that mm. before those two clients, uh, a lot of, you know, some of the few people that I was able to talk mm -hmm. to between September and December, uh, I was trying to charge 500 at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And some people mm -hmm. would just sort of like felt like that was too pricey or something mm -hmm. and would start mm -hmm. giving me like uh, excuses essentially uh, yeah. about like, oh, it's just gonna have to like come up with the money and blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I started getting those objections and I was so desperate that I was like, well, you know, if I just put it maybe half price or something, you know, it'll be a lot easier for them to afford it. And then I will start getting clients faster. And so that's mm -hmm. what I decided to do out of, out of desperation. Yeah, on, in December, mm -hmm. and I landed those two. Yeah. yeah. And so yeah, then so after that, I didn't really It would be easy for people just to like, say yes. How many of you have, have um, yeah. So how many of you have gone through that process? Oh, I'll just charge a small amount. Click on the hearts and the like button if you've gone through this process like Stephen. I've gone through the process. You've gone through the process. I'll just lower it and people get to say yes. But what is the reality, Stephen? Yep. You lower the bar, you lower the price. What is the reality of it? Did people sign up in abundance? Uh, did people sign up me, again and again and again when you did that? Well, no, for me, so I got those two clients, um, and then I didn't really land any other client until yeah. I actually started talking to you uh, in February. Mm. But one thing I did notice was that mm. the downside of lowering the price is that the people that signed up uh, mm -hmm. didn't weren't like very serious about it because there, there's mm. like that side effect mm. of like if the if the price of admission essentially is slow then there's that psychology mm -hmm. that well if it doesn't work uh or if exactly. i don't work too hard and it doesn't work it's not like i spent a lot of money anyway right and so exactly. you know they were like yeah so they were just like a little bit more laid back you know like uh you know mm -hmm. okay and so mm. i was sort of like trying to encourage them to like you know keep working and, and do you know what they had to do and so yeah that that's something that i I'm not suffering from right now, now that I like, mm -hmm. you know, triple my, my uh, prices. So now like the people that yeah. I sign, it's like, you know, they, they actually take it seriously. They want it to work, you know, they're, yeah, they're working for it. Yeah, incredible. And that's yeah. especially like a golden nugget that everybody here, you want to take into account that you would think that lowering the price would get you more clients. Okay, mm -hmm. it is possible, logical, right? It is logical. Um, you're going to get, especially one, if you want to have one foot in the door and get yourself started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, it is absolutely logical and possible to do that. We've done that before. But Stephen also touched another point that the quality of the clients that you get isn't really people who are 100% committed. They're like, eh, um, like, uh, okay. And then Stephen, I bet you have to do a lot of work, right, to kind of pull them up every yeah. single time yeah make it work yeah. make it work make it it's work. a lot of work on you and then it, it, it takes more of my time <laughs> because then i spend more time yeah. trying to get them on track and it's time that mm. i could be using to you know get more clients mm. or service other people and so mm. yeah it's it's just not worth it it's not worth it yeah it's not worth it yeah. it drains you and what was the impact to you on your self-worth and self-value when you're doing all that uh, it, it takes a toll <laughs> on your confidence yeah. because uh yeah it i think at that at that point i knew that my program worked already like deep mm. deep down inside like i knew they weren't taking it seriously but it, it still damages like your confidence a little bit when you don't currently have people getting results right mm. and so yeah I, th that just wasn't good because you, you start getting these voice of like oh maybe you thought that it works, but maybe it actually yeah. doesn't work as you thought it did. 
Yeah. And so it just, it sucks. And then, you know, when you see these people not taking it seriously, then you start thinking like, wait, does everyone think that this is not as important? You know, like, yeah. and so it's just not good working with people like that because they're, they're just going to suck your time. You're not going to get, mm-hmm. like, you're not going to be able to deliver the best results that you can, which yeah. is, you know, what I really want to do. And so, the, you know, if I compare that to the clients that I have now, Mm. Uh, you know, they take it very seriously. They're they're working hard. They're getting awesome results, which is super exciting. Yeah. And yeah, yeah it's it's so much cooler. Yeah. It's so much cooler. And, and you make happier. more money in the process. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, money in the bank, right? Like what we say in yeah. the group, money in the bank. Money um, in the bank, yeah. Single term, money in the bank, money in the bank. Mm-hmm. Um. So, Stephen, I remember when I talked to you. I think it was. January, February, something like that. I remember yeah. you were saying that you were spending hours on groups trying to yeah, get yeah. clients. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, on, on Facebook groups, I, yeah. I met a lot of coaches and everything. Like, even this morning, one of the coaches mm-hmm. I talked to, oh, I'm just going to go into groups and this and that. I'm like, yep, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> so, Stephen, tell us about that experience because essentially yeah. what we do and what I train you and the others is mm-hmm. client attraction, like attracting, mm-hmm. attraction, attraction, yeah. value-based attraction and marketing-based attraction. So what was it like for you going into groups? I know a lot of coaches here just yeah. go into groups. So what was it like for you? <clears throat> so, yeah, th- there's a lot of people that, you know, suggest that strategy nowadays of like, you know, go to groups and then mm-hmm. find somebody that has like a title depending on, yeah. You know, what type of people you're, you're trying to attract. If it's like, yeah. uh, you know, accountants or dentists or whatever that might be, just go to those groups and, you know, just find if they have a title that says mm-hmm. a business owner or mm-hmm. that it says these or that or CEO. Uh, mm-hmm. I try to do the same, uh, but weight loss is a little bit more difficult because nobody puts on a ti- on their title mm-hmm. <laughs> and trying to lose weight. And so obviously, (laughs) you would assume that if a person is part of a support group, it means Mm -hmm. that they're interested, right? That would be Mm -hmm. the, and it's true, but then I, yeah, so that, but, but it was still difficult. It was still pretty hard to, Mm -hmm. um, it was still pretty hard to like draw them. And so uh, in some of these Facebook groups that like, there's so many people just trying to uh, do like MLM and you know sell products and like mm-hmm. these magical coffee that are gonna make you and people are sort of like sensitized to that and and they they smell it from a mile away so they in these mm. uh, groups they hate people like they literally hate them uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> people that have any pro because they they already like their brain already you know their conscious yeah. already has formed that perception that. Mm if you're trying to help them, you're really trying to steal their money. It's, it's like, they can't help it. It's the first thought they're going to think. So uh, that's sort of like what I was, what I was doing, what I was fighting against before I mm-hmm. talked to you. Um, mm-hmm. And so I would just like try to add them, but barely anyone would ever uh, accept my request. <laughs> and so the few ones, if I try to like send them a, like an outreach message, Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, some of them would like reply in a very mean way or like, you yeah. know, they would say something and then like unfriend me or some of them would never reply. And so, but I never really got any calls out of any of them. And mm. so that's sort of like when I, when I talked to you and then you showed me like how to attract people. And when I started mm-hmm. doing that in my business, then instead of like me going and reaching out to them and like adding them, um, so what mm-hmm. I did is I, first of all, I, I stopped like looking for people in these weight loss support yeah. groups. And so, yeah, so I started using that, <clears throat> that, uh, suggested friends list that Facebook has. And, mm-hmm. uh, even though you don't know, like which of these people, you know, who yeah. might be trying mm-hmm. to lose weight or not, but it doesn't matter because when you use the attraction strategy, you know, you're mm-hmm. going to attract those that are interested even if when you added them, you don't know who they are. It doesn't matter because they sort of like come mm-hmm. to you, right? So, so all you want to mm. do is you just want to build your network and, you know, mm-hmm. you just keep adding people every day, every day, every day. So every week you have new people, new people that are, that are exactly. looking at your stuff and those ones that are interested, they'll, they'll raise their hand, essentially. They'll, they'll post mm-hmm. a comment, you know, if, if it's like an attraction post or something, they'll like raise their hand and say yeah. like, oh, me, or I want it, or, you know, these or that. Yeah. And so, you know, they, that's sort of like you start getting to know them, right? And so it was, exactly. it was so much easier because then I didn't have to go through 
mean replies from people. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so none of that. Uh, to actually just those who are interested, they'll just say something. <laughs> And then you yeah. can just continue the conversation. And so it's exactly. just so much easier, right? Aww, so, yeah. I love it. You're using yeah. the word easy now. It is easier. It is easy. Like, it is easy. It is easy. I just want to check how many people in here are into groups, like actually working in groups, going into groups every day, trying to hustle. Because in groups, one thing you don't want to piss off the moderator, because otherwise you're going to be out. Mm -hmm. And second thing, when someone posts something, like it's kind of like very very competitive in mm -hmm. a way right because everybody wants to contribute everybody kind yeah. of thing everybody and they're all like they're kind of like vicious me 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 kind of like yeah. cat crawling kind of thing it's just a bit crazy and steven like even if he added people from that group they're not necessarily gonna attract and they're gonna approve him so now steven is just oh it's yeah. easy i'll just do this takes you what 10 15 minutes every morning yeah. i'll just do this and then I'll just do this, and there they are, kind of yeah. like appearing. Yeah, in you front just of you. So yeah, much easy. yeah, just warm them up with your content and mm -hmm. just let them come to you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it. Yeah, exactly. Let's see. Remya has a question. What if your target marketing isn't on Facebook? What if they're not adding you after fifty people? Okay. What if your target marketing isn't on Facebook? What do you mean, Remya? Do you use other platforms mm -hmm. like? Because you can apply the same strategies on other platforms. I've got clients who apply on Insta. I've got clients who apply on LinkedIn. Because it's the strategy, right? You still have to, to, you, to, mm -hmm. to, to attract people and then book them on calls and then convert them. What if they're not adding you after 50 people? I mean, in Facebook, I think it's a maximum of 20. But with Steven and all, I, I tell them per about day, 15 yeah. a day. Yeah. 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 About 15 per day. So, um, yeah. And I've never much. had a problem, yeah. Exactly. Don't go too much. Don't do yeah. it at the same time every day because then Facebook is going to catch it up and see it's a robot. They don't like any robots. So do 10 or 11 or 12 or 9 or 13. Yeah, they are adding me on LinkedIn and not in Facebook. Okay, did you bring them into Facebook and say, hey, we're, we're connected to in LinkedIn, just want to say hi on Facebook? That's what we do too, right? We always leave a little message for them and not just at them. So um, let me know, let us know about that, Remya. And okay, Stephen, so what made you kind of like took the leap of faith? Like kind of, this is frustrating. I don't want to do this anymore. I need like a, I need something, some, a, a pattern interrupt. I need to have a breakthrough in this. So what mm -hmm. made you take a leap of faith and kind of like, okay, I'm just going to talk to Izzy here and see what she has to offer. What was that turning point? Uh, at that point, I was, I, sort of like had a vague idea mm. of what I needed, I guess. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I sort of like sat down and I tried to reflect over, you know, what, where am I failing, right? Like what's not working? Right. What needs mm -hmm. fixing? Because I, I, like I said, I knew that my program worked. Like it, it, I knew that exactly. it wasn't necessarily a problem with my product or my service. It was mm. mostly a problem with the marketing and sales process. And so mm -hmm. I was like, I was pretty convinced that that's where I was failing. Obviously, I'm starting small business, so I don't have right now enough marketing capital to run ads. So that mm -hmm. was a big no-no for me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I need to do this organically. And I know that some people do it organically and they make yeah. a lot of money. So I knew that it was possible. And so mm -hmm. I think what got me from your message, uh, you know, was the fact that like I mentioned earlier, that I didn't need to rely on Facebook groups <laughs> because a lot of the other people that like that I, I had also been following that were sh uh, teaching, I guess, uh, how to grow their business organically. There were most of them that were sending the same message, which was, you know, go to Facebook groups, mm -hmm. add them there, send an outreach mm -hmm. message like three, four days after, you know, Mm -hmm. uh, but the problem is that there's still a very cold lead. Even even if they yeah. even if they accept your friend request, they know nothing about you. And so, mm -hmm. you know, another thing from the support groups, at least for me, the weight loss support groups, is that mm -hmm. a lot of these people we don't have mutual friends in common either, right? And so, yeah. you know, exactly. yeah. So it makes it really difficult for them to accept you if they don't see that at least you have friends in common. Uh, 
um, mm -hmm. and so if you just like send them an outreach message just like that, you know, like quickly just jumping into an offer and saying like, oh, hey, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I help people do this. And then like, you know, some of my mm -hmm. clients have achieved this result. Would you like to learn more? It's like, they don't know anything about me. <laughs> and so yeah. it is tough. Like yeah. yeah, it's tough. And so like, you don't want to do that. So that's what I like from your, from your message was like, you know, especially when I got on the call with you is that, you know, you told me like, mm -hmm. well, you know, people are looking at your stuff, right? At your content, but you need sort of like a way to bring them to you. You need to like build that bridge that where they can actually take that step, right? And so mm -hmm. that sort of like clicked for me because one of the things that I had noticed in the past is that people actually look at my content. I didn't used to get a lot of engagement mm -hmm. uh, in terms of, mm -hmm. you know, people commenting on my posts or my Facebook yeah. lives, but I knew that people were watching them, especially when I put stuff, yeah. stuff on my story. I get tons of people and, mm -hmm. and I get, there yeah. are some of them that they, they watch every single thing I put, you know, um, mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. I know that they want to lose weight and I know they're following me. Uh, but again, I needed that bridge, right? It's like, okay, they're on the other side watching me. They keep mm -hmm. watching me. But if I don't do something, they're going to die watching me. <laughs> and so <laughs> I, I need to like do something. And so that, that's what I like from, from your, your uh, you know, the time that I, that I spoke to you over the phone is that, you know, you had a method to actually attract them to you, which is what I was thinking. I was like, at that point, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, I know that people are watching my stuff, but really, how do I get them on a call? Like, you know, yeah. I, I'm missing that step. There's something broken in my process. Um, and I'm not getting clients because of that. So that was definitely like, for me, one of the biggest, uh, you know, selling points, awesome. uh, or yeah, for taking that leap of faith. Awesome. Because then again, you've got you, you can get a lot of attraction and attention and engagement, but yeah. if you don't know how to convert them or the process to convert them, it means yeah. nothing. It just it means, means nothing. nothing. Yeah. If you got thousands of likes and this like that, okay, one or two going to say, Hey, I need your help. But in general, people are just shy. People are mm -hmm. just shy. You yeah. know, they're not just going to pop in and say, -da, here I am. They're just shy. So, yeah. You've got to have a process to make money in the bank. That's the whole point. You've got mm -hmm. engagement here. Like Stephen said, you've got to build a bridge. They're here. You're here. You've got to build a bridge yeah. to kind of like help them to see the process through whatever it is that you have to offer. Like Stephen is helping people losing weight. I'm helping people to attract more clients and make sales. Whatever it is that you have to offer, there's got to be a bridge. So let's break it off, Stephen. Let's break it down to like five steps so that people that watch this video can go away from this get massive mm. value and start to do that exactly like how you did it like the very least start to attract some clients mm -hmm. let's break it up to the to like three to five right. steps so what was the first step that you did uh, the first step i would say attraction again <laughs> yes. was definitely where i where i uh mm -hmm. yeah where i started um and so again you know one of the things that I learned in the program was, you know, the different types of posts, right, and all of that. So, like, you know, attraction posts and personal posts and authority posts. So, that was really helpful, and I, I quickly made a plan of like I, I try to plan like the whole month of like you know which days mm. of the week I would do like attraction posts and uh, mm -hmm. and all of that. And so, yeah, I try to be like as as organized as I could with that because for me it was really challenging to post in social media every single day <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so and so I, I i used to be a little bit i'm actually not introverted but i used to be introverted for social media so mm -hmm. that was something mm -hmm. i had to like get comfortable uh doing mm -hmm. is like sort of yeah. like putting stuff there yeah every single day every so day. Yeah. yeah so that's i, I, the key, I right, Stephen? every yeah. day every day because you want people to see you strikes. every day and now I'm at a point exactly. where like people see me every day, you know, like, and again, like the same people just keep following my stuff every day. And sometimes when I talk to people, they're like, yeah, I've been mm -hmm. watching your videos. I've been watching your posts, you know, like when I, nice. when, I when we get on a call. So, uh, yeah, it takes a lot of touch points, you know, mm -hmm. to sometimes to get somebody on the phone. Sometimes it doesn't happen mm -hmm. the first two or three times, you know, some people have a mm -hmm. lot of insecurities. <laughs> And some people yeah. are like super skeptical. So they're just going to like go forever just thinking, mm, mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Mm, I'm not sure. So they just yeah. have to keep seeing you, man. Um, so yeah, posting yeah, every day was every important. Day. And, and for me, I, I created that system where I, where I try to 
you know, put like which days I would do this post and, and that way would keep mm -hmm. me on track um, mm -hmm. and, you know, prevented me from coming up with excuses for like not posting <laughs> essentially. <laughs> so yeah, if it was in my exactly. calendar, I had to do it. So that, that was good. Uh, so definitely attraction. Uh, a second major thing uh, for my success was the mm -hmm. offer. Uh, mm. The offer was, was huge. So my offer before sucked. <laughs> and so, and so oh my yeah, God, yeah, it sucked. It, it sucked. sucked. And so after talking to you and going through the program and, you know, you were like, no, you know, this is, you know, a better offer. It needs to be resistible. And you started telling me yeah. like how to, and I was like, oh my God. And so when I wrote it down, and I like write the whole offer and I look at it and I'm like, wow, this sounds amazing. Like I will buy my program yeah. right now. But like yeah. I compared it to what I had before and I was like, damn, this sucks. <laughs> like no wonder why people were telling me it was too expensive. Like it's just, they were yeah. not, you know, they, they, yeah, yeah. It wasn't irresistible. And they actually probably felt like they weren't getting enough. You know, like mm. also when I, when I look mm. at how it was structured, it was something very simple. And so the way it is now, yeah, you know, giving people like, uh, you know, I'm using bonuses to sort of like give people uh, other tools that, you know, that could really help them to really yeah. complete the program. Because some people might, some people sometimes have in their minds like, well, you know, everything that you, you know, the, the way you explain me the program sounds awesome. And I, I believe mm -hmm. that it can help me, but, but some people you know, I noticed that some people give me excuses like, oh, but like eating healthy is expensive. That's the only thing. Yeah. And I still have to buy groceries yeah. every week and healthy food is expensive. Yeah. Or like, yeah. you know, or like, oh, I just, I don't know if, you know, I believe that the program will work, but I don't know if I have what it takes, right, to mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. not quit me through the program. And yeah. so, you know, these are other types of limiting beliefs that they have that could still hold them back from, from, buying your 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 product you know or exactly. your service and so I'm, I'm sort of like yeah using those bonuses to say oh but you also get a bonus for this that even if you feel like you might not be able to do it by yourself and so i started a facebook community i'm offering like mm -hmm. also personalized coaching you know one-on-one -on -one with me like and so yeah. you know things that say like well even if you feel like this way you know you're gonna have all the exactly. support system in the world that there's no way that you're going to quit. I mean, because you're going to, you know, be getting motivation every day, not just from me, but also from other mm. people doing the same. And so I, I came mm -hmm. up with like these bonuses like that. And so it really helps them because they're like, oh, okay, okay. And they're like, okay, I can check that box. So th the offer for sure, amazing. Uh, the other thing, uh, number three, I would say raising mm -hmm. the prices. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> and exactly. so. And know your value. So let me read yeah. that quickly, Stephen. The first yeah. is that you've got to always attract clients. It starts from client attraction. You want to make sales, you've got to start from mm -hmm. client attraction. And number two is that you've got to have an irresistible offer. Really irresistible offer. So that is so irresistible. People can't, they see so much value time. It's whatever yeah. they pay, it's like 10 times more. They see it from there. And not, they're not just like, you, you, you get a program, that's the price, that's it. Yeah. We offer way more, right? We offer value, high value, high value things. So create to offer to be irresistible. Stephen um, the, uh, does it with bonuses. It can be anything. You can, you can be yeah. creative about it. Stephen does it with bonuses. Um, so number one, client attraction. Number two is create bonuses that's going to help people, entice people. Because you want people, you always want to give more, right? Like, this is what you're offering, but you always want to give more. Yeah. So that they kind of like, oh, yeah. Because when Stephen says, okay, I'm offering you this and this and this, they're like, ah, okay, so I'm not going to be left on my own then. Because that's what they're scared to, right? One of the, one of the things that they're scared of. Yeah. So number one, client, client attraction. Number two is irresistible offer. And number three, raise your price. For God's sake, start valuing yourself and honoring yourself. Because it's like... How do how do we put it, Stephen? If if because every penny has a soul. Yeah. If you're not honoring yourself and the work and the work that you do, you it's just gonna be chaos. Like yeah. Stephen lowered his price, that he attracted certain kind of people. But now he increased his price, people are buying it, and he attracted certain yeah. kind of people. I think and he's happier. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think like for me, it did two things. It's like one is what you just said. Um, you know, you mm-hmm. don't want to undervalue your service. And usually when you're at that point where you're struggling, like I was, that it's just, it's so hard to, you know, like your brain is just telling you like, just lower your prices, just lower your prices. It's like, mm-hmm. like an impulse. Yeah. So absolutely, you know, when, when you increase your prices, you also get more confident because you're like, you're, mm-hmm. you're valuing your service at the appropriate, you know, price. And so the second thing is also that for me, like I mentioned, it, it, you know, it serves as a great filter because now I just filter out all mm-hmm. those people that are not serious. I mean, literally just yeah. when I say the price on the call, if they're really not serious about it or they're not 100% sure that they really want that mm-hmm. um, or they want that outcome or whatever, mm-hmm. like that price is just going to, oh, okay, you know, like, like I literally had one person that told me like, well, I'm not sure how committed I am when I told yeah. her the price. And so mm-hmm. I didn't even see it as a waste of a, of a call because, uh, you know, I don't want people like that. And so the, the price sort of, you know, she was like, I, I have to think about how committed I am. But I've had people that when I give them the price, they're like, they want it because they want it so badly that they mm-hmm. understand that the level of pain that they are and the transformation that that's going to have in their lives is nothing. I mean, they understand that and they really believe that my program can help them. And so that's like, I mean, probably the, the point number four, actually, now that I mentioned that is how you Mm -hmm. present your offer, like not just Mm -hmm. bonuses, but actually when you're on the call is how you explain Mm. your, your, your product, right? Your service. Like I said, like, you know, you easy, you know, the way you explained to me your service was like so clear. Like when you told me like, you know, mm-hmm. you, the people are right here, but you're actually not building that bridge for them. Right. And so that's mm-hmm. why you're not really attracting them. So it, that clicked for me, it made a lot of sense. Mm-hmm. And so the same when I explain people like, you know, this is why you're not losing weight. This is why you've been stuck in a plateau for so long. This is why your health is going downhill, you mm-hmm. know, every single day. And so when I explain to them, why my program is different from everything out there mm-hmm. from everything out there like some exactly. people like literally when people tell me like man i've never seen it that way i've never seen yeah. a program that actually teaches yeah. me how to do that and so when i tell them that it's like wow it's like that aha moment that also mm-hmm. is what sells like you said it, you know obviously having an irresistible offer is essential but I also just doing like a really good job at explaining it to the point that they can understand you like I had a guy, mm-hmm. I closed a guy in February uh, and he's actually a regional sales manager at his mm-hmm. company. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because I by, by the end, you know, I, I hadn't even <laughs> given him the offer yet. But like literally he like stopped me at some point in the, in the call. He was like, hey, I, I'm just laughing, but I just want to tell you like, dude, you're, you're doing an awesome job of selling me this. <laughs> and I just started laughing and he was like, no, nah, I, I say these truly as a compliment. I'm a regional sales manager at my company and I, and you know after i gave him my offer and everything he was like i'm sold man like he was yeah. like listen if you ever need a job just let me know like i will fire every every other sales member in my team and i will take you in yeah. like literally he told me that i would just start laughing he was like you just walk me through you know like the story like i i understood everything you said and so that's yeah. what people want if you make people really understand like mm-hmm. what you do Mm-hmm. Because it, confused people will never buy. That's it. It's just they exactly. will never buy. You know, exactly. they need to understand. So you yeah, I would say that number four. Easy, right? Yeah, I yeah. and, so and for that I had easy. to practice. Yeah, I practiced mm-hmm. every day at least once. I would sort of like practice my my, you know, explaining my my process. You know, in in like a two minute span only. You know, not exactly. super long, just like short enough that they can understand, mm-hmm. and it doesn't take a lot of time. So. Yeah, I would say no, that that's exactly. also really, really important. Exactly, because when we did it, when we help, when I helped you craft the offer, we kind of like dissect, dissect it to like, mm-hmm. let's clear it off. You're yeah. making it confusing. It's too much mm-hmm. and this. Just simplify everything else yeah. and don't go fluff around. Yep. I always say three things. Like, okay, Stephen, what are the three things that... Because you're like, da, 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 da. Yeah, three is like the magic <laughs> number. And even for my program, like I... You know, I sort of like condensed it to the point that I actually condensed mm-hmm. it to three main things. And, you know, when I yeah. tell people what the program does for them, you know, or, or like how the program works, I just mentioned three very simple principles, you mm-hmm. know. And I said, this is what we do. One, two, three. Bam. That's yeah. all you got to do. I mean, it's simple. 
you know, we do it and it works, you know. Yeah, and that's it. exactly. It works again and again. It works. And again. Even the regional director was surprised with Stephen because people overcomplicate things too yeah. much. Too much. too much. Don't want because to people think that complicated is it's worth more. <laughs> and then you leave people confused. And they like, leave huh? people confused, yeah. Like what? Uh, and I like if you understand. make your stuff like really complicated, so, mm. you know, like, for me, I had to practice it a lot because I also like, uh, you know, before I started this business, mm. I was actually a scientist. <laughs> and so, <Ooh. laughs> and so, like my brain just, you know, my training before starting a business was like very technical, you know, and science mm -hmm. is like a different language. So like nobody could understand mm -hmm. me outside of the science yeah. world. And so I had to also like practice my pitch a lot so I can actually explain to people, you know, how the body works without actually confusing the hell out of them. So they could understand exactly. why my program works so well and why it's unique. So it took me mm -hmm. a lot of practice. <laughs> exactly. I think that will be your fifth point. Like practice keeping it simple. Yeah. Keep really it simple. Practice, and one, simple. one, one point, like just, mm -hmm. just show them one point. This is what my thing can do. Don't say my thing. Don't say like my service can do this and that and that because they forget it. You know, just convince them yeah. of that one thing. Like easy just mm -hmm. convinced me of one thing. You know, you can attract and close people every day, you know, a cell a day. It's that simple. Yeah. It's a cell a day. Like that's literally the phrase is one cell a day. That's the concept. And that's yeah. the concept that she sold to me is you can do a cell a day, doing it organically. Mm -hmm. And so it wasn't hard to remember. You know, it was very simple. And so that's, mm -hmm. you know, that, that I sort of like took some of that also and try to apply it on, on my own pitch, which is just mm -hmm. make people understand one thing, right? Yeah, so that's it. Exactly. And so that's the what I tell people. Of what they want. So yeah. let's recap that, Stephen. Number one is client attraction. You've got mm -hmm. to start with client attraction. Yeah. And there's ways and methods to do it organically. Are you paying any penny on ads? Are you paying any nope. money on ads? No. No. Do you have complicated funnels? No. No. Can you easily? I don't even have a web page. Five minutes. <laughs> exactly. You don't even have. You don't even need. Do you don't even need a web page? Stephen doesn't have a web page. I don't think Stephen has a value video or like, you know, all those crazy. No, not yet. Bling yeah. Bling. yeah, not yet. I mean, he doesn't need it because yeah. he knows how to attract clients. I mean, and Facebook and works almost like a website too when you look at it because mm -hmm. uh, so when you on your own profile, like on the, I think it's the top left, there's like that feature mm -hmm. section. So in that feature mm -hmm. section, you can just put things like, in my case, just because I help people lose weight, then, you know, mm -hmm. I can, I can showcase like before and after pictures, or I can showcase video testimonials of people. So, you know, I yeah. put their like pictures and testimonials from people. So like, as soon as people go to my page, my profile, that's one of the first things they see, they see my biography. Exactly. And then right below, they see the featured, you know, results right there. And so, mm. you don't need, I mean, that's literally what a website would do anyway, like <laughs> showcase your work. So you don't even need a website. And it's even better because the live videos are more personal. So people have yeah. you there, they can ask yeah. you questions live. A website can't do that, you know. Yeah. So it, it's, it's okay so if you have the money to have it, you know, because it's a common mm -hmm. practice, that's it. Mm -hmm. But really, if you don't have the money for it and you're just starting out, you don't need it for sure. I mean, literally, no, Facebook can necessary. do the work of a website. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessary. So Absolutely. it's important for you to attract clients and client attraction, not versus client finding. Because it's hard work finding yeah. clients or that you're competing. It's just attract them to you. Yeah. Attract. And then and then you book them on a call and then you convert. It's literally A B C. That's why I yeah. train this that's why I teach Steven that attract, book, convert. So you track them. You've got to have an irresistible offer. That was number two. What was number mm -hmm. three, Stephen? Uh, number three was uh, raising the prices, I believe. Yeah. Exactly. The offer. Raising Honor the prices. Yourself. Yep. So then uh, you no. start to valuing yourself mm -hmm. to the level. Because if you want to play on this level, you've got to honor yourself so that the people here can rise up to your level, not mm -hmm. the other way around. You don't want to go down to people's level, people who are not in the best place. You want to always raise you up here so that people can rise up to you. And then, so you've got that number three. What was the first one, fourth one, Steven? Uh, the fourth one was... Oh, the fourth one was uh, just being concise with your offer, but mm -hmm. doing it in a way that people can actually understand how it works mm -hmm. because confused people don't buy. And I would say, if I yeah. can say number five real quick, 
Mm-hmm. I would because we talked about attraction. I would say that number five mm-hmm. is also, you know, try to really understand what your target audience wants. Because for the attraction posts, right? Like if if you're really talking to nobody, or if you're not really hitting pain <laughs> points, or if you're not yeah. really talking about things that they really want, then yeah. nobody's gonna reply. And so that's yeah. that's another thing is that you really want to like at least have a clear grasp of of you know what type of results they want. Exactly. That's about understanding your market. And, you know, mm-hmm. we're, we're constantly, we're constantly doing new things. Like I shared mm-hmm. with you the other day, hey, Stephen, look at this, um, this market research, oh, yeah. this idea that sells, ding, 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 go. And it's kind of like all you have, because these are ideas that sell mm-hmm. again and again and again. So all we have to do then, Steve, is just tweak them yep. to kind of fit. Fit mm-hmm. us, like fit our market and everything else. Obviously, um, it has to be a content appropriate too. But I just that sales are everywhere, and that's I think that's yeah. what Stephen is mastering. Kind of okay, he's you've got to know what you're offering because if you're offering something that's not clear or not resistible or not what the market wants, he's most likely not gonna get much response or engagement to that. So cool. Those are like the five steps that Stephen did to help him triple his price and be happier and more money in the bank account. And the very least, one thing I, I, I love to hear you say is that you're, you're now able to help your family, like your mom and dad at home. Because yeah. I think that was kind of important too. And I'm yeah. really, really yeah. so pleased to hear that, that you're, able, you're, in you. a position, you're in a position to do that. Okay, so now I'm just going to open up some questions, about five, ten minutes of question. Um, let's see. Um, there are a few questions here. Um, but before that, I just want to ask like, um, the, the permission of everybody um, if I can share a little bit about the system that Stephen uses um, because I think it's going to be so valuable to you. Um, if it is so, I'm just going to share it, okay, because I think it's amazing. It's going to help you. So, Stephen, what is the name of the system that you use then? Uh, the name of the program is called 10X Body. And, I mean, uh, my program. Oh, your program. It's uh, <laughs> SL Day. Yeah. Exactly. SL day, very simple. SL exactly. day. We're just focusing on every single day is just making a sale, a sale a day, a sale a day, a sale a day. What are the three main things, Stephen, that we focus on every day? Uh, attraction, mm-hmm. booking, mm-hmm. or, you know, schedule a call and then conversion. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Like Stephen said, if you're here, uh, audience is here and you're here, you've got to build a bridge. It's basically ABC. So just attract, book, and convert every single day. There's nothing complicated, nothing fussy, nothing over the top. It's just mm-hmm. real effective strategies that works um, fast. That's the most important thing because we, we are so busy now. We don't have hours and hours to spend on, you know, on, on the business. You want to go out, you want to do certain things, and that's only, you know, you want to spend time with Arian and go out a little bit. So a sale a day system, attract, book, convert. That's it. So for those of you who are still struggling, like what Stephen said with his challenges that he was facing, struggling to attract clients, struggling to booking people on call, or even making sales, stop jeopardizing your business and your life. What are you guys are doing? You know, why are you still like, um, um, I don't think so. Let me help. Just get up and do the work and start to make a shift. Like what Stephen said, because there's only so much hope. Eight months, six months, 12 months that you can do that is enough, right? Like, I mean, you've got to do something different to get a new result. So for those of you who are interested, just leave a comment below or send me a personal message. I've got amazing offers. I've got a massive 50% off and bonuses worth over $3,000. So just leave me a message, just comment below, okay? So let me just answer some questions. Okay, Rania, they are adding me on LinkedIn and not in Facebook. Okay, is it the same person? Um, Why are they not adding you on Facebook? Because when I transfer from LinkedIn to Facebook, and that's what I told you as well, like Stephen, whoever's in your LinkedIn, you you can find them on Facebook, yeah. Exactly. Find them on Facebook, send them a request, send them a quick message. And it's just the same thing. And they usually accept you. So if they're already accepting you on LinkedIn, it's likely they're going to accept you on Facebook. Just say, hey, we connected on LinkedIn and go from there. 
but but on Facebook, I have to be in groups. <laughs> Do you have to be in groups? Do you want to be in groups? Like Stephen, I let you answer this. Like, what kind of, what do you do, Rainia? Why do you have to be in groups? So, Stephen, let's talk about groups then. Groups, mm -hmm. you talked about it earlier. Yeah. Does, do you think that people need to be in groups in order for them to kind of attract uh, clients from your experience? I, I think, yeah, from my experience, no. I don't know every niche mm -hmm. in the world, but mm -hmm. yeah, at least from all the niches that I know that I've ever heard of, um, I don't think so, no. I mean, you can always put all the content in your personal page so you know the, mm. the point of the of the support group for me or, or the facebook group is is to mm. sort of like transfer those people to your network so mm -hmm. because in the facebook group you can't really write to them and so but if you if they become your friends then you know they'll be exposed to everything you publish so yeah i i, I don't see a reason why um like i said i don't know every niche in the world but i don't see a reason why you would have to you know, it can only be done in a Facebook mm. group. Yeah, exactly. So let's see. I do not, I help chiropractors get more patients, Ramia. Okay, cool. So chiropractors. Yes, I can see. I mean, um, you can add them exactly. on Facebook. I used to add, yeah. a, before Before I used to do, uh, help people lose weight, I, I did a little bit of digital marketing or, or sort of mm. like venture myself there. And I used to target mm -hmm. uh, dentists and orthodontists and I, mm -hmm. I joined a few groups and I would just add them, you know, and they would accept yeah. me. And then I would just post on my Facebook. And another thing that you can do if, if you don't want like your personal, you know, friends or family or something to see your post, mm -hmm. one thing you can do is mm -hmm. that you can add the chiropractors to your Facebook and then create a, a list of let's say chiropractors and then you can just post there and only them will see your posts, you know, that are related to, to yeah. them. And so yeah. that's one thing that you can do too. I've seen some people do that. Yeah, you can, you can even do that. Uh, absolutely. Okay. I like the idea of adding them from LinkedIn there. They mm. denied me. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. One of, the, one of the things where they potentially deny you is because you don't have common friends. Even for me, I would at least have 10, yeah. common, 10 to 20 common friends. If I don't have common friends, you're going to be out. So that's why... Um, you can either transfer them from LinkedIn if you want to make sure you send them a personal message or start from um, like what we said earlier from people you may know. The thing is with Facebook, once you start to get people from you may know, let's say chiropractors mostly, then more of them are going to, the algorithm is going to show you more of that person, more of that person, more of that group or that person. So you can do it that way um, because... Um, I don't know. Like people usually accept me easily. What about you? People accepting you easily now, right? Now because yeah. you're doing through that route. Yeah. Now, yeah. Now that I'm yeah. doing the suggestive friends, yeah. Because like usually people have like tons of mutual friends, right? So it's just easier. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Tons of mutual friends. So it's just. It's easy. easier with mutual you, friends. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy with mutual friends. I'm sure that's around there. For example, I have a chiropractor too. I've added some. He's an entrepreneur and he's a chiropractor. Just so happens that we have common common friends. So that was easy. Look for chiropractors or people that have common friends with you. At least 10. Accepting me on LinkedIn in a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So probably something to do with your profile too. How are you, how are you structuring your profile, Rania? Like with what Stephen said, he's got the top bit. He's got the features thing. So his, and his content, I mean his wall... It's very, very strategic and intentional. He doesn't have all those um, crazy stuff, all the stupid stuff in there. He doesn't because he's very clean. Right, Stephen? I've told you yeah. to clean it up. There's no cat it's... videos there. <laughs> <laughs> cat videos, yeah. There's no cat videos. There's no any. cat videos, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very intentional because when you send a friend request, the first thing that person is going to do is check Go to you your out. Profile. Yeah, and it's true. I've had people that I add, and before they even accept me, I know that they check my mm -hmm. profile because they scroll down, and then they they probably like two or three of my posts or something, <laughs> and then I get the notification. But we're not friends yet, and then after they do that, then they go and they accept yeah. the request. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, exactly. people do check the profile before. 
Yeah, they, they check like at least 90% of the time, unless if they're desperate or something or they're crazy. So yeah. your profile has to be clean, Ramia, that it has to showcase, because it's client attraction. You've got to showcase a certain part of you. So why don't we do this, Ramia? After this, I'll message you and then we'll have a chat, okay? Because um, there's something of something that we can tweak in. But clean up your profile. Like Steven's profile is very clean, very intentional, very strategic. My profile is very clean, very, uh, very intentional, and very strategic, very purposeful. We don't mess about because we're doing things organically, not even Facebook ads. So you have to be really intentional in what you're posting. Like Stephen says, he plans up for the whole month. I plan up for the whole week. I'm not as... Um, I'm not as strategic as Stephen, but I plan out like the whole week, at least at least the day before. Um, uh, and then I, because we we have a formula, right, Stephen? What yeah. are we going to post? How are we going to post? And this and that. And what you and write too. To mm -hmm. And what you write too, because yeah. at least for me, at least for me, the you know I've seen like a lot of the people that do MLM, like I said, or, or try mm. to sell these like weight mm. loss pills and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, most mm -hmm. people don't don't believe these things, right? And so they see them as like, oh, yeah. it's a scam. Are you trying to take? So if you also like, if yeah. you write your post in a way that sounds like that, like you're advertising your stuff using that language, then they they're just gonna put you in that category. Like, oh, this person is like MLM two or something. So you also want to you know yeah. make sure that your stuff actually looks legit. You know. Yeah, your stuff looks like legit. The way, yeah. And then uh, connection like allow people to connect with you. A lot of the times I see people doing business, 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 business. It's just so boring. It's just turned off people. Um, you know, like today I got connected with someone, you know, send them a request, say hi, they accepted me. I'm like, hey, can't wait to hear more about you and your work. It's all on my profile. Can't you see it? Oh God, this person is <laughs> like, uh-uh. Isn't it crazy, right? At least, it's all on my, this is such an egoistical thing to say. You're not, you basically put me off of doing business with you no. because you're not being welcoming. Just, just the very least say hi or something, right? Like, hi back. How are you? I'm great. You know, just something, something like, what do you call it? Like, some, like a human being. So don't say things like that, okay, people? If you're in this group, don't say stuff like that. Like, can't you see it's on my profile? Oh, you're not famous. Like, why do I care? Like, you know, make it, when you reach out to people, client attraction, you have to be warm. Connecting. Creating a relationship and connection with people every time. Because um, like when Stephen, I train Stephen. Stephen, you've got to take selfie. You've got to like, oh, write about stuff. You're so like, oh, easy. Uh -huh. <laughs> It was so hard. It was so hard. <laughs> exactly. But it makes a difference, right? Yes. It makes a huge difference. People love pictures. People, people love selfies. Yeah, exactly. It just keeps people warms up to Stephen more and more. And now with Stephen, it's so easy for him to get engagement and relatability and connection because you're not hiding, right, Stephen? You're not mm -hmm. hiding behind a cat no. picture or a flower picture, you're not hiding anymore. You're sharing stuff about yourself, your life, and your business. That's how mm -hmm. human beings are. Yeah. All right, Renia, if there's nothing else from anybody, I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, thank you so much for joining. I've got to pick up my son from school. Thank you so much, Stephen. I really appreciate it. And Stephen, thank you, if you. people want yeah. to work with you, where can they reach out to you? Uh, well, the easiest way is Facebook. Just... Uh friend request or send me a private message on Facebook and we can talk. Yeah, exactly. So, um, uh, Stephen D. Jesus, right? Yep. It's facebook.com yeah. slash just Stephen DeJesus. But you've also yeah, tagged so me several times, so <laughs> <laughs> below this yeah, video, just, just scroll make... down and we are right here, like probably the, oh the post yeah. before this one. Yeah. yeah, I just want to make sure, yeah. And just yeah, click on the link. Yeah. make sure that I tag you. Exactly. So making sure that you're getting traction and you're not missing <laughs> Absolutely. Out. Okay, Rainia. So those are the things wrapping up. Thank you so much, okay, Rainia. I'll get in touch with you, okay? And then we can have a chat um, so that I can help define things a little bit better for you. It's easy, right? Because when we talk compared to this messaging thing, sometimes um, it gets a little bit lost. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, we'll catch up, okay? So for the rest of you who want to have a chat, 
um, just feel free to reach out either to me or to Steven. If you want to work with Steven, you have some question, go ahead. He's amazing at what he does. Okay, thank you so much, Stephen. Take care, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Bye.